Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, I uh, hope you're enjoying watching the channel N Jenkin. I try and put up as many videos as I possibly can with the time available, uh, not for the sake of the quality going down. So hopefully I'm doing an okay job and everyone's having a bit of fun and releasing some stress. Now it's always a, a bit of a struggle to keep the channel going with work commitments and stuff. I won't lie, there's been times in the past where I've almost quit and it's been your comments um, and your encouragement on Twitter and other media platforms that have kept me going. So I'm always trying to wonder, looking a bit ahead, how can I keep this thing rolling? Because it is gradually getting better. Um, it's gradually going up since I monetized it, but very, very slowly. Now, in the past, a lot of people have said to me, uh, Nick, why don't you try a Patreon? Uh, for those people that don't know, um, as a YouTuber, most of your revenue or all your revenue comes from ad income, which uh, isn't really much really. You, you could probably keep a sparrow going uh, on food for that, but not a human being who's got rent and other bills to pay. So it's a stress, you have to keep going out and um, get money and buy it other ways. Now Patreon, if you're unaware of it, a lot of you will know what it is. So for the sake of people that don't know what it is, uh, essentially it's a separate website where um, People can um, donate money to keep a channel or a content creator going, not just YouTube, could be a musician or projects. It's a bit like uh, crowdfunding in a way. And uh, for those subscriptions, they get um, additional bonus content, access to competitions, behind the uh, scenes sort of stuff, and other sort of like benefits that the content creator uh, deems um, available. Now, um, it's a bit of an old uh, concept, uh, Patreon. Um, it's nothing new. Uh, back in the olden days, aristocrats used to give money to artists uh, so they could create stuff and they got a buzz about saying that they supported them, they got access to their work. And it took, basically it takes all the stress off the content creator so they can concentrate on just creating content. And because those other financial stresses are gone, typically their work gets better, they can expand and go on to new levels and new platforms that before were never ever possible. Uh, and in a lot of cases, historically, uh, that person never would have done anything at all and then gone on to be a, a great painter or, or creator or what, whatever. Now, I've always resisted a patron in the past because I was always conscious about what have I got to offer? Have I got good enough quality to offer? Am I um, just dreaming? And my fears were also, this channel is quite good uh, fun to make, although it is a bit pressured to get the content out. I always felt it was under my, my terms, I could stop wherever I want. Uh, there wasn't people telling me what ch content I should put up or shouldn't put up, although although I took suggestions and quite often I'd, I'd do that anyway if I could fit it in. Uh, I've kept to a few systems to try and um, build up a bit of a, a catalogue, so it's just been Commodore Amiga, ZX Spectrum mainly, um, Game Boy Advance haven't done for a while, it's PlayStation 4, we look at the pinball, and I'm, I've, I've wanted to dive back into their game, but since I work further away, I can't do. So I'm pretty much my um, own boss, and the worries about Patreon is, if you had someone that donated a lot of money to the channel and said, Nick, I'm going to stop donating money to the channel unless you do start covering, I don't know, Vic20 stuff. And I think, okay. So uh, although I could do it full time with that, um, the fun's gone. Although I've achieved my dream, dream in a certain way, it's not the channel I want to um, uh, promote. So that needs a bit um, uh, working out. But I've got to a point, really, where when I analyse it, uh, strange as it may seem, or a bit far-fetched in the scene, pie in the sky, this is what I want to do. I love presenting, I love creating videos, but I think I could take it um, quite a bit um, further. So you think, how are you gonna fund this? Because basically, I'm killing myself, um, going to work on a two-hour journey when the trains aren't very good, going up and back and getting home, um, trying to do something when I can't, and then I've got the weekend and I'm struggling, and also, I'm a little bit behind as well. So. Every so often, every few months, more than one person will say, Nick, try Patreon out, I want to donate this. Try Patreon out, I want to donate that. So I've been having a look to see how that would uh, potentially work. So I've got a, a few ideas um, in in uh, hand there. Um, right. What are, I've got lots of notes here because I'm bound to forget something and I get to the end of the video and think, oh no, I can't uh, wedge that, uh, that in really. Yeah, so people have been pushing me to do it. So basically, uh, Patreon is going to happen. Hey, right, it is going to happen. I'll see how it goes. Now I've still been reading about it. I've got the. I haven't launched it yet, but I've got the basis of the uh, the page up. It's going to be Patreon slash 
uh, in Jenkins. I just got to work what the benefits are going to be. Now, the only reason I've done this, because essentially, if I've got someone paying me, uh, or you, subscription money, no matter how small, I want to provide value for money. I want to give you the most I could possibly can. I don't want to rip people off. If I promise something, I want to do it. And if I can't do it, I want to apologize for that and then think of a, an alternative. And that's happened on the channel um, quite a lot. If I can go this full time, I've got a lot of ideas what I can do on here. Uh, no doubt some things will work, some things won't. It's a bit of a learning process. Now, I'll let you know a bit more when that patron is fully up and running. People that want to look at that, really, really um, appreciated. But the only reason I'm doing it now is uh, in May, uh, the last two weeks in May, I have got that time off work. So it's going to be a bit of a, a dry run to show you what this channel sort of like can produce if it was full time. Now it's going to be very difficult over that short space of time to actually represent that, but hopefully I can give you a bit of flavour because no doubt if you was doing it full time, the sort of things you'd be putting out by month six would be different to the experiment in, you've been doing in month one because some things you do, as I say, wouldn't be that popular or people wouldn't like it. Uh, and, and therefore, but I think there'll be extra videos on the Patreon site behind the scenes, which take time to do, which I couldn't do if I'm working as well. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a big step for me. I'm still a bit unsure about it, but the amount of positive support before I've done it, I think is good because, as well, uh, I'm, I'm very strong not ripping people off because I've seen Kickstarters go wrong. I don't want to be in that that sort of situation. I've seen channels open. Um, and then after a couple of weeks without really having learned their craft as much, there's no set rules on this, so they're in, they're in, they're entitled to it, and then open Patreon straight away as if the money's the thing. Now this channel in November would have been going five years since the reboot. So if you've been with me from the start, I know a few of you have, hopefully you've seen a few improvements, you know I'm going in the right direction. If I could put it to full time, then well, yeah. I mean, other things we can sort of like um, do. Igor will be back. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Through the Patreon, we might be doing um, uh, Nick interviews. So I don't know if that will happen over Skype or so forth. Uh, good interview uh, patrons or other YouTubers or um, who knows. Maybe Michael Fassbender. Is that his name? Uh, anyway, <laughs> might be interested. No, they won't be. Um, you know what I mean. We can take it a bit further. So let me know your thoughts uh, below. Do you think that's good? Do you think that's bad? I think you're, uh, you're a bit nonplus with the whole idea. Because uh, to be successful on YouTube now, because the competition is absolutely huge, you have to go um, all in, in with it. And when you go all in, you could either win big or fail miserably. But there we go. So that's Channel N Jenkin and me. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let's have a look at anything else. So yeah, so I'm still learning to see what Patreon would do, but you're looking at things potentially like bonus material for people that um, pay a subscription or whatever. I think they can cancel those subscriptions at any time if they're not impressed, so there we go. So it's up to me to make the content good and, and consistent. Uh, behind the scenes stuff, possible competitions, uh, shout outs to people in credits. Um, might be uh, additional podcasts uh, involved and other additional stuff but with more time available you never know I might be able to do more traveling and go to conventions and film there as well so that's a bit of channel news this time around it's uh, quite major so this might be uh, a seminal thing but um, yeah just what I'd uh, share that with you so good or bad put your comments below until next time uh, have a great week uh, remember, second half of May, it's going to kick off as an experiment. So, till next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.